This video is to explain on how you can insert a new record to a SQL Server table using Clases app forms. For the purpose of this demo, I've created a table called contacts and in this I have uh, the contact ID as a primary key and uh, this is a auto increment column and I have first name, last name, date of birth. So what I'll do is I'll actually insert a new record to this table from a places form. First we need to create a new form and it can be under, under the blank form section give it a form name click OK you can adjust the form height now start placing the controls that you want for the form so I have uh, the ID so it's a text box first name last name let me insert few rows below I have the date of birth and I'll have one more uh, text box for the email so let me just pause here and complete the form properties by giving it a proper name and giving it a uh, proper label I have finished uh, giving the labels and uh, control names now let me just place a button control and this will be used for saving the record okay so now that we have uh, the form designed let's uh, start with the data source so for the that so to create the data source I'm going to the data source tab and I can click on the create data source link and here I'll be choosing SQL Server click OK and here I can select Northwind next I'm going to use the contacts table so this is the contact table so click next and in the command screen I'm going to create an insert command so I've selected insert as option and click add now these are the columns in the table and we have to map each column to the controls in the form so txt id first name last name date of birth email address so there are uh, three more columns I'm just leaving this ignoring this because this allows null so if I insert a new record all these three uh, columns will be null value now this is the last option where I need to define on when I have to trigger this insert command and I have a save button and when I click on the save button it has to insert a new record so I'm going to I've checked a BTN save as a trigger I'll finish this and I'll finish the wizard now I'm just ready to test this form so I can go to the preview form option I don't need to type any value in the ID because this is uh, a auto increment column even if I type any value that will not be taken it will be replaced with the value that's generated in the database so once that I have uh, typed in the values just notice the ID uh, text box here when I click on save button you can see that there's an ID that's generated if I go to the database if I just scroll down you can see that there's a record that's actually created with the ID 42 and these are the values that I have uh, 
passed.